Hello, this is Carlos from the Church of Christ channel. Please subscribe. So today I wanted to do um, another like talk. And this is like seven ways the people of God grow in unity. Usually I do spiritual warfare talks, but I kind of want to make this like um, equipping the saints talk. Something like this. I want to mix it up, okay? So, this is seven ways the people of God grow in unity. Number one, love one another, okay? Love one another, and that's important. Uh, 1 Peter 3, 8 talks about, finally, all of you be like-minded, be empathetic, love one another, be compassionate and humble, okay? So, oftentimes, we want to talk about how we need to stay away from this person and stay away from that person. You know, but we're not really talking about how to grow in unity. And I think as people of God, you know, as people that follow Christ, that is important. We have to do that, okay? Number two, this is a big one, big one, okay? Forgive one another, okay? The Bible talks about in Ephesians 4.32, be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as Christ um, and God forgave you, all right? So those two are definitely important. And um, even going back to number one, we know that uh, love is the greatest thing um, that God has given us towards each other. And it's, it's one of the greatest attributes, okay? All right, number three, lie not one to another, okay? Lie, not one to another. And, you know, I think this is important because, you know, we have to understand that, you know, in order for us to um, be unified, okay, we have to first grow in love and we have to speak the truth one to another, okay? So Colossians 3, 9 through 10 talks about lying not one to another, seeing that you put off the old man with his deeds and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. All right. So we have to put off of, put off certain things and put on certain attributes if we are, as the people of God, going to grow together and grow in unity okay number four edify one another notice that all of these are like one anothering effects right <laughs> and it's important that we build each other up okay uh, too many times in our circles i'm what i'm seeing is that we're tearing people down and as a result, this is one of the reasons why a lot of people uh, leave, unfortunately, the church and leave Christianity because they're not being built up. Of course, yes, I'm not saying that we shouldn't, um, you know, I, I, uh, expose sin. Yes, I'm, I'm not saying that there are times that we should disfellowship with people. But we got to be eager to work things out. You know, that's what helps us as people of God to grow. Okay. Now, the scripture for that is 1 Thessalonians 5, 11. Therefore, encourage one another and build one another up just as you are doing. Okay. So it's encouraging all of us that we need to build each other up. It's important that we do that kind of stuff because we need to grow in unity, okay, in the body of Christ. Our community in the body of Christ has to grow in order for our walk to grow, all right? Number five, here's a big one, and I think five and six go together, so I'm going to put that, those together. It says, confess your faults one to another and pray for one another. Now, this, what this isn't is, okay, I'm going to get in that person's business. I'm going to, um, you know, gossip and all of that. But what, ha what, what should happen 
And we're not trying to get in their business and stuff like that. But what we are trying to do is to help you through any situation by praying to God, um, being a community of people that can help as well. So James 5, 16 includes both of these. And it says, therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The the power, I mean, the prayer of a righteous person is powerful and is effective, all right? So when people go through something, please let's stop this whole, oh, they're in sin, I don't want to deal with them, you know, and type of stuff. And what we need to be doing is praying for those people so that they may be healed because it comes... Everything comes back around. When it's your turn, you're going to want somebody to pray for you and so that you may be healed, okay? And number seven, not giving up meeting together, okay? Uh, Hebrews 10.25 talks about not forsaking the assembling of us coming together, all right? So uh, these are seven my seven ways of the people of God can grow in unity. Number one, love one another. Number two, forgive one another. Number three, lie not one to another. Number four, edify one another. Number five, confess your faults one to another. Number six, pray for one another. And number seven, not giving up meeting together. This is Carlos from the Church of Christ Channel signing off.